At first, this looks like Greek, and especially the further you go, but let's come up with some real rules right now. Take a look at my screen here. I'm going to select the product ID, the sale date, daily sales, and then I'm going to see some daily sales, comma, sale date. And that's why they're called ordered analytics because the first thing every ordered analytic does is it sorts the data before any calculations are done. And here you can say we are going to do a see some on daily sales, but first we're going to sort all the rows by sale date. And that's how ordered analytics do. You never put an order by at the end because you're going to sort within the calculation first and then begin the calculations. Take your time, but get this key point really down. I have highlighted in red the sale date. You see, that's the sort key of this. We're going to do a see sum on daily sales, but only after the date is sorted by sale date. So I've got this for you without the see sum calculations yet because it's always a two phase query. They first sort the data that you're asking for by the sale date. Once that's sorted and the rows are ready to come back, they go stop. Now it's time to calculate. We'll see in our next slide how the calculation begins to build. I've got this color coded for you. Focus on the blue. We're doing a C sum, but we're going to sort by sale date first. That happens. Now focus on the red. We're going to see some daily sales. After the sort, what do we have in the first row? 48,850. That's the start of the cumulative sum. What do we do the next day? 41,888. Now it's going to be a cumulative sum of 97,39, and it just continues to add things up. That is what a C sum is designed to do. Remember, in our ordered analytics, we're always going to sort first, but here we have a multi column sort, a major sort on product ID, a minor sort on sale date. So first, all the rows are going to be sorted by product ID 1000. All ties within 1000 will be further sorted by sale date. Once that happens, we're ready to begin the calculations and the cumulative sum is calculated. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Serving the data warehousing needs of the world for 20 years. Check out coughingdw.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.